I'm still kind of convinced that we're all collectively in a dream that I am patiently waiting to wake up from because this past year has been absolutely unreal. Hey guys, Danny here and welcome to my little corner of the internet. I am trying something new. I'm going to see how this affects the algorithm. I'm going to tell you guys to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and follow my service puppy Evie on her Instagram all at the beginning of this video. And let's see how much that pushes the needle versus when I do it at the end of the video. This is probably going to be the shortest year recap that I've done because this past year has pretty much felt like two regular months and then one super long month that has just kind of all blurred together. So I'm also going to combine this with a channel update because I'm making some major changes to my channel. In January, I was very bright eyed and bushy tailed about the year ahead. I had a really great birthday with my Rotorac friends and I also went out to dinner with my family. I would like to stop and point out how absolutely strange it is to watch myself blow out candles on like a cookie cake thing and then serve it to people like now that just seems like a foreign concept to me and seems completely gross but that's a thing that we used to do so long ago which wasn't so long ago as many of you know who have been around for a while february is always a really roller coaster of a month for me. It started out great last year with, you know, my normal couple of birthdays in my family that I really enjoy. I also went to a really great um, creator meetup in Toronto. Look at how close we are together in February of last year, completely blissfully unaware of how the world is going to entirely and completely change in just a couple of weeks after this photo was taken. I even distinctly remember Cody saying to me that he was going to come back in the summer and we were supposed to record a video together, but obviously that didn't happen because the border has been closed for like ever now. After this, February always goes downhill for me. By the time you are seeing this, it would have been three years since I got injured six weeks before I graduated university. This injury radically changed the trajectory of my life. Um, it has completely impacted everything that I had planned to do after graduating and has really impacted my physical and mental health. I still cannot walk properly. I haven't been able to straighten my knee in three years. I'm in pain every single day and I don't know when any of those things are going to change. And I'm not saying any of that because I'm trying to have a pity party. I'm saying this for a reason. I'm saying this for every high school and college kid who has some part-time job that they are truly giving their all to and are, are doing everything that they can to be a great employee. These companies don't care about you or your well-being in the slightest. You are very disposable to them, so it is very important that you take care of yourself first. Also, double check that whatever company that you're working for has some sort of medical coverage and if they don't, either don't work for them or make sure that you get yourself some sort of medical coverage because my injury, like the original injury, had a six to eight week recovery period with physiotherapy, but I was immediately fired after I got injured so I couldn't do physio and it just cascaded into like arthritis and a worse injury because I didn't get the help that I need because the company was highly negligent, and here we are three years later. This was never something that was on my radar or something that could happen to me, and I don't think anyone at that age thinks that they're gonna have 
those kinds of series of events happen to them, but it can happen to anyone. So I'm just saying this so that you can protect yourself and be prepared. The end of February for me also brings the anniversary of my friend Grace's death, which I talked more in detail about in the recap for the year that she actually passed, which I will link because I do want people to know about her and know her story because she was a very important person to me. But like I said, February is always a roller coaster for me. It has really high highs and really low lows. Then the entire world ended. March through June is just one complete blur for me. I honestly thought that staying home would make me just super productive. I thought that I would be like 10xing this channel because I had all this time on my hands and no obligations and I was just gonna, you know, be so productive, but that didn't happen. The collective anxiety of the world just made my anxiety way worse and I just completely shut down. I was the least productive that I've ever been in my entire life. Um, boys. The beginning of June was amazing. I got a brand new niece. She's wonderful. I love her so much. She brings so much joy to our entire family and I truly think that's what my family needed at the time because it just brought light and happiness into a very dark situation for the entire world. But then later in June, I started losing family to COVID and to cancer, which kind of put a big damper on what was going on. July through August is just another entire blur. But in September, I brought home my service puppy, Evie, who has completely changed my entire life. She is right here right now. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail about her because I'm going to make a separate video as part of a whole service dog series that I'm bringing to this channel. The one thing I do wanna make extremely clear is that she is not a COVID puppy. Um, I actually put a deposit down on her two years before I actually got her and it was a long process which again I will detail in other videos but I had to make sure and wait for a puppy to that had like the right traits and the right temperament to be a candidate to be a service dog so that's what took so long in September is just when she happened to be available and have the right temperament and that just all kind of coincided. September through November, things were getting a little bit back to normal, but then November 23rd, here in Toronto, we went back on lockdown, and then December 26th, we had like stay at home orders, which is what we've been on until present day at the moment, even though other places in Ontario have opened up, here in Toronto, we have not. So, Basically, life has gone back to being just a giant blur. So, channel update. I'm still in the process of finding a new normal. I know everyone says that, but it's kind of true. This pandemic is clearly not going away anytime soon, so I'm gonna have to deal with that constant like anxiety feeling that everything gives me about it, as well as figuring out how to film and balance training Evie and doing all the other things that I have to do. And because of all of these things, the this channel is going to shift um, and become a little bit different, but I do hope that you all stick with me and kind of come on this journey with me. So how I want this channel to work going forward is that I want it to have three main pillars. The first pillar is going to be music, which is what this channel has always been about and will always continue to be about. The second is about disability and disability advocacy and, you know, my journey as living as a person with disabilities and things like that. And the third is what I'm calling Life with Evie, where I want to, you know, document the journey of training my service animal, give people more information about how things work here in Ontario because I found that there is a major lack of information about Ontario specific laws. We get a lot of stuff coming from the US, people get very confused. 
and I just want to document that journey because there's not a lot of that kind of stuff on YouTube and I think that will be helpful to some people. Two main goals this year for this channel is one, to be consistent and two, to increase the quality of the video content on this channel. And the way that I'm gonna go about doing that is to only have two videos a month on this channel so hopefully that I will be consistent in those two videos. I don't wanna to put too much pressure on myself because I also have ADHD and being consistent with ADHD with things like YouTube is just super, super hard, which is why I have never been truly consistent, but I really want to work on that. So I'm going to try and upload two videos a month for now and then go increase gradually as time goes on and I, plan on revamping my entire workflow, I plan on upgrading equipment so that the quality of the videos is much better, and all of those types of stuff. If more videos happen at any given time, that's great, I will upload more videos, but at the very least I want two videos on the channel every single month. One of those videos I want to be about a music related topic, and then another one of those videos I want to be either about the second pillar of disability or of the service dog journey with Evie. Currently, I am searching for an ADHD coach in my area to help me, and I plan on doing a video series about that. In terms of music, my grant was initially extended until the end of this year, but then things for this year, like all the conferences and stuff that I was supposed to go to, are starting to get canceled again. So my grant has been extended again, until March 2022. I still plan on doing stuff with my grant. I'm trying to revamp things a little bit and I will still be making videos on that as well. I also have a ton of video ideas for stuff involving service animals and Evie's training and things like that. So there will also be stuff along those lines on this channel if you guys are interested. I really, really want to be monetized by the end of this year, which means getting to a thousand subscribers, which I know being consistent and having higher quality content will help with, and which is part of the reason why I'm trying to focus on that. I also want to launch a Patreon by the end of the year so that other people can co come and support me if they so choose. That is pretty much it. I hope all of this sounds super interesting to you. I thank you for following me on this journey thus far, and I hope that you will continue to follow me on this journey by hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. There is a ton of great content coming down the pipeline that I can't wait to share with you, and I truly hope that you guys enjoy. I will see you guys next time. Bye.